This whole time, it's like Dustin was trying to manifest reality from within me rather than on the external side of things. He didn't want to communicate in a 3D reality kind of way. He just wanted this internal interaction, this mind place, and started manifesting things in the wrong goddamn direction. And it hurts. It physically hurts. All this pain and suffering is his energy that won't let go. And it's not just him anymore. It's other people now too. I'm trying to get my mind off of what's been happening, so I'm redirecting my thoughts. And I was thinking about how I love trees, and how there's so much beauty and sacred geometry in them, and how I love their roots, and I love that they have families. And I think people dismiss that. I think that they don't understand that other life forms have beautiful connections with each other. Trees have roots. I think it's aspen trees and they have an entire root system that connects them. And when one tree is suffering, other trees help it. And sometimes they, they even kill each other, actually. That's really wild that they can make decisions of that nature. So we don't perceive them as having a brain or a mind or consciousness. But how are they making decisions then? I think there's more to nature than, than we acknowledge. It's beautiful. I love how the sun shines through the leaves. It's almost like an x-ray. I love how the veins and the leaves kind of mimic a human circulatory system. The roots do too. And it's really interesting because people have to draw life from the earth the way that trees do. So even though we don't have visible roots, I think that people have roots too. I think it's really inspiring how they reach to the sky, the branches. They're reaching for light. Sometimes I'm not sure whose tears are falling from my eyes. And sometimes I feel, sometimes I feel like the earth cries through me and that's a really weird feeling. 
sometimes with specific people. I experience life so fucking differently from anyone I know. So being me is like impossible to not feel alone because who the hell understands this? I'm so sensitive to energy and all sorts of things that connect through me. And today, it's like it keeps growing, it keeps expanding somehow. I don't even understand it, but today is different than yesterday. Today is more. And I'm um, scared of the exponential growth. It's just too fucking big internally. It doesn't fit inside of me and it was supposed to manifest externally and I can't, I can't seem to switch the direction. It's growing in the wrong freaking direction. All of this stuff was supposed to grow out into the world. But all this shit with Dustin over the past few years really blocked me. It blocked me from getting it out into the world and everything became internalized. <sighs> and now it just hurts like a son of a bitch and I look like a fucking lunatic. But there's nothing crazy about me, it's just and that everything grew in the wrong direction. I was supposed to give the world so many fucking things and they all got blocked inside of me. I don't know how to change direction. I'm stuck. I feel stuck. I don't think that he meant to do this on purpose. He didn't understand what was happening, so I don't blame him. He didn't mean to. Nobody meant to. I think that it was just miscommunication and hurt. I don't want anybody to hate him, you know? I don't think that he meant to do this. Today, the connections are very different because it's so different from last week. It's almost like a different world altogether. Last week, it was like just a couple of energies today. I don't know why. <clears throat> I don't know why, but it's like so many. It's so many people. It's familiar voices. And fucking weird, but there's like so much support. I, I don't know where that's coming from, but there's like support. Where the crap is that coming from? I don't even understand. It's like I feel people saying, we're right there with you or we're supporting you. And that's, I've never had that before, that experience before ever, to feel that, to feel, and, and sometimes it's specific energies that are communicating. What a weird experience 
to recognize voices and the, but they're the they're inner voices they're your inner voices they're not your external voices so if you listen to your minds you can hear me too <laughs> you can hear me too You can hear my gratitude for those who support and if you pay attention to your hearts you can feel it too It's like so much is happening inside of me. It's too difficult to contain. I'm not typically a crier in my whole life. Boyfriends used to complain <laughs> that I wouldn't cry. And it's not that I wasn't upset. It's just I'm not a crier. I'm, I don't know, on the stronger side of things emotionally. And... Now, suddenly, in the past few years, it's like so many things have presented themselves through emotion and tears, and I didn't even know what the hell was happening for the longest time. But now, holy fuck, I can't even, I can't even explain what the hell is going on. I can, actually. I could scientifically explain it if you needed me to, but... You know, it's nerd shit, it's boring. <laughs>